I'll donate one twenty dollars if you. I'll donate twenty dollars if you read one page of Harry Potter. That's easy. Okay, watch this. One Harry Potter book. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. You said one page, right? Bro, why does shit mad long? Bro, why does shit mad long? Where's the short page? Oh, hold on, I found one, I found one. Okay, okay, I'll read, I'll read this page. <clears throat> Are you ready? Are you guys ready? You ready? <clears throat> Get comfortable. His stomach rumbling with hunger. Dudley's snores were drowned by the low rolls of thunder that started near midnight. The lighted dial of Dudley's watch, which was dangling over the edge of the sofa on his fat wrist, told Harry he'd be 11 in 10 minutes time. He lay and watched his birthday tick nearer, wondering if the, if the Dursleys would remember at all, wondering where the letter writer was now. Five minutes to go. Harry heard something crack. So Harry heard something. How do you zoom in? Harry heard something creak outside. He hoped the roof wasn't going to fall in, although he might be warmer if it did. Four minutes to go. Maybe the horse in in private in in privet. And Privet Drive would be so full of letters when they got back they that he'd be able to steal one somehow. Three minutes to go. Was that the sea? Slapping hard on the rock like that? And two minutes to go. What was that funny crunching noise? Was the rocking crumbling into the sea? One minute to go and he'd be 11. 30 seconds. 20. 10. 9. Maybe he'd wake Dudley up just to annoy him. Three, two, one. Boom! The whole shack shivered and Harry sat bolt upright, staring at the door. Someone was outside knocking to come in. Yes, sir! Now, me! I think it's that pedophile bot laner. I don't, I don't know who's that bot laner, so I'm just gonna help him. What fucking horse? Did I say horse? <laughs> give me my 20. Yeah, give, <laughs> give, give me my 20. Give me my 20. The boom part seems accurate. That is just racist. 